because you watched News 12 and this guy went over there and killed somebody <clears throat> because they messed with his family. That means, oh man, you know, 10 years ago or eight days ago, I heard about that. Somebody just messed with my family and you're, you're thinking about it. You're not thinking about that news program. You're thinking about what they fed you and you may go react on some dumb shit because you're constantly, you, your brain is picking up a lot of shit that you don't even realize, your subconscious mind. So you're being programmed and, and just be careful. You, you know, you have the option, you have the remote, you can shut it off, you can do whatever the fuck you want. They're making us robots. So, so at this point, I want to interject one thing important. Every time I get a microphone, I like to explain this before we go to the sister and to the brother. When you look at the word entertainment, don't think it's a joke because inter means, and we could all agree on this, this is real easy. Inter means to go into something, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Does anybody know what the word tain means? To hold back. To what? To hold back. To hold back. So we talk about going in and then to take hold of something, to, to attain or detain, the word is there. So we talk about going, to hold back or to grab, and then ment, which is the Greek or Latin word for mind. So when you're saying it's just entertainment, you're saying it's just mind control. It's only entertainment. So I always like to add that on the record when people don't know that because entertainment is a very, very dangerous thing. In the religious world, there's a word for that. It's called possession. Sure. When something jumps into you or goes into you and takes hold of you, they'll say he's possessed. Like now, funny channel. enough, um, and, and you, you're going to hear this a lot when you go look into it, there was a group of people who was charged, or that was their specialty, was to possess people. And guess what their name was? They were called the Medes. They were from a place called Medea, which is spelled M-E-D-I-A. What you would say today, media. So that's an interesting counterpoint. Go ahead, brother. Go with that, take it off. And then we go to the sister. Daddy, your brother not trying to let go of that mic. Yeah, no. <laughs> God, he said, yo, you can take the sisters, me. No. Um, I also wanted to say, you know, that we talk about media, right? Mm -hmm. I wanted to say earlier when you was going into that, that, uh, yo, Media, you know, English comes from Spanish, Spanish comes from Arabic, or you know, what's referred to as mm -hmm. Arabic. And when we say media or media, I'm saying media is the middle, or also the medium, mm -hmm. or the average. So the medium, and the medium is like, you know, a way of getting from A to B. So the Channels. medium, or social entertainment, social media, the medium of being social, See, when we're looking at media, who were the means? They, they were mediums. <laughs> That's how they possess it. There it is. Uh, yeah, there it you know is. No point. I don't know what you're talking about. All I got to do is hear the words. Words is mathematics. You put one and one together. It got to add up. One and one. Even if it's not in English, it's still dose. Channel. So, yeah. Okay, um, I can't really fully answer that question because I don't have a TV in my house and shit on there anyways. Clap it up. <laughs> Like, when I was growing up, like, TV, it was wholesome. You know, we had the Cosby Show, Family Matters. You know, it was wholesome. It was pure. And <laughs> and now, like, you, you watch TV and you just see nothing but sex and violence. It's like, oh, my goodness. Like, I have kids. They got to watch this. So I, I, I wish that somebody would just jump in and try to change the whole scenario of entertainment right there it is so this is what we're going to do in closing uh in closing of the panel this is what i want everybody to do can i add one thing remember? yeah please do please do feel free you know you were talking about being wholesome mm -hmm. that was an illusion too really it was that was an illusion you know you have a doctor and a lawyer all black families don't have doctors and lawyers it was, you know, when I was coming up, it was more like good times. Mm -hmm. yeah. True story. All right. Um, not discrediting what you say or how you felt. But that's all an illusion. Um, one thing I did want to add, it has nothing to do with what I just mentioned. But it's something that everybody should really think about. 
when television went from analog to digital, okay, some years back, the government now has the capability of watching you in your own home. Mm-hmm, the channel. Okay, if everything is digital, all they gotta do is put a little camera in there, a microphone, and it's just like George Orwell, 1984. Is that beyond those six corporations? Uh, no. This is the federal government. They can do what the fuck they want. Which is, which is, <laughs> so, so we think. Which is the same group of people. All right? It's that 1%. Ooh. It's that 1%. Same group. Ooh. Okay. Same group. But that, that's true. And, and they now have the capability of watching you in your own home. They also have satellites up in the sky that can look down on you. Uh, it was a big on the ski. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. See, this is where it gets good. Okay, we're gonna get off. No, no, no. This is where it gets good. This is where it gets good. I challenge anybody in here to find me a real picture of the planet Earth from space. I challenge you to find me a real, not a computer generated image. Because he said a keyword satellite, and this is where I want I want information to prevail. Does metal have a melting point? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So if you tell me the closer you get to the sun, the hotter it gets, and your satellite is made of metal, what should happen to it the closer it gets to the sun? So now we have one of the, the what they tell us that satellites are made of titanium has a melting point of about 2,000 degrees. How hot is the sun? So the closer you get to the sun, the hotter it gets. Could a satellite fly around the planet at 6,000 miles an hour based on science? It's impossible. It's impossible. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, you know, it's actually, you know, the sun is hot because the light is what's producing the heat, and light travels through various mediums. The mm -hmm. reason that we feel heat from the light when we're on the Earth's surface is because the light traveling at 186,000 miles per second after having interactions with various elements in that atmosphere, you know, mm -hmm. our bodies are going to in interpret that as heat, yo, that's hot. That's right? called positively charged ions. Precisely. See, when you're dealing with the electron molecules, but look, Mo, when you go outside of the Earth's surface and you're outside of the atmosphere, the medium changes. And in the vacuum of space, it's cold. So light can travel freely without, without an object necessarily um, having to interpret that heat. Right. It'll interpret the light, but not the heat. That's so why when things travel around the Earth, they not, they, there's no friction. So no heat mm. is being generated. Heat is only generated when there's friction coming into the Earth's surface due to the elements, the metals that are in the atmosphere causing friction against the other metals coming in. Right, except for one thing. There's something called the stratosphere. There's something called the ionosphere. Right. When we go into the ionosphere, the temperature raises up so dramatically. Now, this is not according to architect. This is according to what all the European sci scientists and every other scientists who have sent things up there have come to find out. So when you get up into the ionosphere and you're dealing with these positively charged ions and negatively charged ions, what they call it, the vacuum of space, is, is technically old science because now they're saying there's dark matter. They keep referring back to this dark substance, there's black holes everywhere, there's these, this dark energy. So my point being is that when you get into common sense and when you get into basic science, what you do is you start to realize that the things people suggest to you, like there's satellites flying around the planet, become questionable at the least. Because if you're going to subscribe to the idea and you can melt the gold ring, why can't you melt the satellite? If you tell me it's hotter the closer I get to the sun, why would it be logical to think that there's a metal thing flying around the planet? So not to get too, not to go off deep into that, what I want to close with um, is I want everybody to give a brief uh, summation of where they could be found, uh, what their what their organizations represent. If if there's an organization, uh, music projects, etc. Clearly, so the people can know where to find you. And then we're gonna have two performances, uh, and we're gonna get a find you. So uh, we're gonna start with DJ Digital. All right, my name is DJ Digital. My email address is D J D I G I T dot A L two thousand nine at gmail dot com. I could also be found at I-N-D-A-S-T-R-E-E-T-S-T-V at yahoo.com. That's industreetstv.com. You can stream Battles on Radio at www.wusb.fm or battlesonradio.com. Um, you can also catch me at Melodic 
management at yahoo.com, just the way it sounds. What that first one? The first one is DJ, D-I-G-I-T, dot, A-L, 2009, at gmail.com. Thank you. Yes, you can reach me at D-I-N-C-O, 44, <laughs> D-I-N-C-O-4-4 at Gmail. I also have Yahoo, but it's on that Gmail. That's the email I use. Um, Dinko, like I said, you can Google it, right? All the information on Facebook, Instagram. It's the same thing, D-I-N-C-O-D on Instagram. Um, Twitter, D-I-N-C-O-D. So just Dinko, D-I-N-C-O. Just remember the main letters and, and search those and... Um, you can find all my paths. Yo, what's up with the skateboard? Let them know what's going on. Yeah, this is a new skateboard collaboration I did. You know what I'm saying? I used to I used to skate back in the day when nobody else was in my neighborhood was doing it. You know what I'm saying? I was in Brooklyn racing down the back of Project Ramps, running into walls because that was the only place we we was doing it at. But um, you know, this is um a project that I'm doing with some some good cats. My man over at Flavor Magazine. And um, my other dude from Powell Skateboards. But this is one of the projects I'm doing, just, just branding my name. You know, we, we didn't have a chance when, when we came out to get into the branding and merchandising ourselves, you know. We was letting everybody else do it, you know what I'm saying? Or they wasn't doing it for us. And it, and it, you just got to uh, take, <laughs> take it in from us, exactly. Controlling everything with it. So that's where I'm at right now, because I built up a name, and it, you know, from music and whatever. And, and this is one of my products. So, there it is. Give it up for me. Yeah, I, you know, I'm I, you, I got an album out right now called P-I-M-P, and that stands for Paper is My Priority. You can get it online, you can get it on at granddaddy.iu.com. You can get it right now, but I got some shits in the car, you know what I'm saying? Yo, get those, get those up if you guys. That's a lot. And um, you, you can reach me on Instagram, um, Original Granddaddy on Instagram, um, Facebook, Steady Flow, um, Twitter, Granddaddy IU. That's what it is, man. There it is. Oh, I see you in the street. Um, you could basically, like, I take artist submissions, I listen to everybody. Um, you could email me at memoirs of a party girl at live.com or you can, <laughs> or you can um, tweet me, WB Shamika, that's S H A M I K A. And yeah, that's it. What about Phoenix? Oh, that's still in the works. Okay. That's still in the works, so I will keep you guys updated on that. Right. That's a top secret, though, but it's already recorded, so I guess yeah. it's not a secret anymore. No, we can edit. <laughs> okay. We can all edit. Okay. There it is. Let's get it over to the club. It's on. I'm not really like an internet cat like that. So you can just like 347 669 <laughs> You know, you could just call at me, like text me. What I really do is, like I like I teach, I build, I educate, and I take this serious. I feel as though educating our people is the only solution that we have. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, don't hesitate. You could look me up online on at a, about dot me slash l o r d m u r k e l. That's my first name, Lord Merkel. You can go to facebook.com slash Lord Merkel, which is my fan page and profile page. You could Google Lord Merkel, L-O-R-D space M-U-R-K dash E-L. A bunch of videos are going to pop up. I'm on YouTube. My channel is Angel and Training TV. I'm on my YouTube channel. You know, I ask a lot of people who are so-called, um, so-called, um, leaders of our community, what's their nationality? Because um, as knowing that nationality determines your political allegiance, we need to know if they're you know, in allegiance with the people whom they say they're leading. 
So if you want to stay up to date with that, I'm constantly seeking out people who are wanting to do benevolent things in their community. And Angel and Chaining TV is that YouTube again. I'm trying to think of what else I could be found because I know I got a whole lot of stuff. Oh, I really like how my man said that, you know, he had to see these on him. My brother Architect, he's actually has some production for some of my projects, um, some of my music projects. I got music projects called What's Your Nationality? On my way to Temple. It's real sick, like, anyway, you know, I'm not very humble like that. I'm nice, period. So I'm going to start early on Trey Seven, Mill Brook Projects, what up? And so, right. you know, Just keep it real. You know uh, if you want to purchase some music now, I don't have any for purchase, but you can leave your nation a donation. You know? <laughs> there it is. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to ask y'all to hang around for about another 10 minutes. We got two performances we're going to have. You know, I want y'all to check it out and uh, definitely give the artists some feedback. Artists that's performing, y'all want feedback, right? Of course. All right, cool. I'm not of you. Can I just say one thing and close? Yeah, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. We're going to close it out. We're going to do this music. You know, you, you may think I'm crazy in what I'm about to say, but uh, all night I've been talking about illusions. Illusions. I've been talking about the government. I've been talking about the 1% that owns just about everything here in the United States. What you see, read, and hear. I'm tying this in because today's date is what? 9-12. 9-12. Yesterday was 9-11. 14 years ago, uh, uh, some terrorists hijacked some planes. Allegedly. Allegedly. Ran into the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, in Pennsylvania. That's what your government told you. It was a controlled demolition. We all know that. Yeah. But some people don't believe it. Don't believe Looks everything so. that you see Not or that government. you are told. Yeah. Do your Damn. research. You may think I'm crazy, I get into a lot of arguments about people, but it's the illusion. And I'm gonna tell you this today, and I'm gonna say it right now. Within 10 years, we'll be in Iran fighting. Yeah, that's crazy. Really so let me do this. I wanna, uh, I wanna, I wanna move over to my brother Kyle real quick, um, who represents uh, something that I think is very, very important. Kyle, come up here for a second before we get these fans so. I want you to uh, explain to everybody what you do real quick and what you're doing here and, um, you know what I'm saying, um, and, and go from there. Peace. Blessings. Peace. My name is Khalid. I am a certified commodities broker. Um, I sell gold. I sell silver. I sell rare coins. I sell bars. And um, what I handed out is just a little thing because a lot of people, if I was just ask y'all, what is currency? to you, mm -hmm. what does the word currency mean to you, right? Most of us is gonna pull out this. That ain't worth nothing, I'm gonna pull out this. This ain't currency. Um, and as you see is uh, in the Constitution, Article 1, uh, Speaking Section 10, That's right. it, said, it, it defines, it tells you right there that currency is defined as silver and gold. That's right. And mm -hmm. where I'm gonna tie this into what we was all talking about, right? Because we just started talking about building our own, having our own media, our own internet, and you're not going to get it with this. Mm -hmm. right. um, Greece defaulted, right? Greece went belly up. What's in our pocket that we carry around is called a fiat currency. It's not worth nothing. It's not backed. Come on. I have some other paperwork that shows you in 1933 they took us off of the gold reserve. Amen. Our That's money right. used to be backed by gold, mm -hmm. not anymore. Um, 1933 FDR took us off of that. They came up with the Federal Reserve. And if you look on there now, that's what it says, the Federal Reserve note. Know. What we need to do is get back to gold and silver. That's that's right. Right. We need to start transferring this liquid currency into a hard asset, mm -hmm. silver and gold. Because check this out. It's going back to the gold standard. Exactly. Period. The um, the euro is a fiat currency. The dollar, fiat currency. The world. Japan, I mean China, the one, they just started backing their gold, their currency with gold. Right. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? These, these when when everything I say collapses, because this money that we have in our pocket, they just keep printing it. Then it what's it, what's it gonna create? A bubble. What happens to a bubble? 
it explodes. Pops. Once it pops, there is this money ain't worth shit. If you had a hundred thousand in the bank, they're gonna tell you, National Guard ain't nothing here for you. Mm -hmm. Nothing. So if we start transferring some of our money, little safe, those and I'm going, I'm gonna tell you now, I'm going with silver because it's only at fifteen dollars an ounce. And uh mm. it's easy to obtain. And, and, yes, and it's legal. Yes, yes, sir. So, do you, with the, with the people here, because I don't think we got no 100 millionaires in the house tonight, I don't think we got no, you know, no, nobody that's sitting on you know, hundreds of millions of dollars. Don't need do you need a lot of money to get involved in what you do? Could you could you take, let's say, some money out your paycheck or your publishing check or whatever and get into gold and silver? When I left work, silver was trading at $14.89 an ounce. Who got $15 in their pocket? Not bad. Okay, so you know, you buy ten ounces of silver, that was one hundred fifty dollars. So instead of buying them Jordans for a buck fifty, buy ten ounces of silver and just keep socking it away. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. when the shit hit the fan, you're gonna take that silver and be able to get you some bread, some vegetables, you know, whatever you need to survive. Okay. It's gonna go back to that bartering. Tech makes beats or 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 Mer Merkel, he does this and and this brother does this and, and it's bartering. I'm gonna give you this for that, and, I, and, and it's gonna go back to that. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But it, it's real. Um, right now, I am working for a European. I, I just started this business about six months ago. I used to sell cars for about 16 years, and now that I'm, I know what I know that I know. The goal is to open up my own gold and silver gallery, where my people can come to me, and you don't gotta go to the European. We gonna put this on lock. Facts, nice. I want to stress something here um, at this point before we get into the music. When you hear us using the term European.